One Day International, Wikipedia Article Audio A One Day International is a form of limited overs cricket, played between two teams with international status, in which each team faces a fixed number of overs, usually 50. The Cricket World Cup is played in this format. One Day International matches are also called Limited Overs Internationals, although this generic term may also refer to 2020 international matches. They are major matches and considered the highest standard of List A, Limited Overs competition. Rules Fielding Restrictions and Power Plays History Trial Regulations Teams with ODI status Permanent ODI status Temporary ODI status Special ODI status Tournaments One Day International Records The International One Day Game is a late 20th century development. The first ODI was played on January 5, 1971 between Australia and England at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. When the first three days of the third test were washed out officials decided to abandon the match and, instead, play a one-off one-day game consisting of 48 ball overs per side. Australia won the game by five wickets. Otis were played in white kits with a red ball. In the late 1970s, Kerry Packer established the rival World Series cricket competition, and it introduced many of the features of one-day international cricket that are now commonplace, including coloured uniforms, matches played at night under floodlights with a white ball and dark sight screens, and, for television broadcasts, multiple camera angles affects microphones to capture sounds from the players on the pitch, and on-screen graphics. The first of the matches with coloured uniforms was the WSC Australians in Wattle Gold vs WSC West Indians in Coral Pink, played at VFL Park in Melbourne on January 17, 1979. This led not only to Packers Channel 9 getting the TV rights to cricket in Australia but also led to players worldwide being paid to play, and becoming international professionals, no longer needing jobs outside cricket. Matches played with coloured kits and a white ball became more commonplace over time, and the use of white flannel. In the main the laws of cricket apply. However. In Otis, each team bats for a fixed number of overs. In the early days of ODI cricket, the number of overs was generally 60 overs per side, and matches were also played with 40, 45 or 55 overs per side, but now it has been uniformly fixed at 50 overs. Simply stated, the game works as follows. Where a number of overs are lost, for example, due to inclement weather conditions, then the total number of overs may be reduced. In the early days of ODI cricket, the team with the better run rate won, but this favoured the second team. For the 1992 World Cup, an alternative method was used of simply omitting the first team's worst overs, but that favoured the first team. Since the late 1990s, the target or result is usually determined by the Duckworth-Lewis method. Where insufficient overs are played to apply the Duckworth-Lewis method, a match is declared no result. Important one-day matches, particularly in the latter stages of major tournaments, may have two days set aside such that a result can be achieved on the reserve day if the first day is washed out either by playing a new game, or by resuming the match which was rain interrupted. Because the game uses a white ball instead of the red one used in first class cricket, the ball can become discolored and hard to see as the innings progresses, 
so the ICC has used various rules to help keep the ball playable. Most recently, ICC has made the use of two new balls, the same strategy that was used in the 1992 and 1996 World Cups so that each ball is used for only 25 overs. Previously, in October 2007, the ICC sanctioned that after the 34th over, the ball would be replaced with a cleaned previously used ball. Before October 2007, only one ball would be used during an innings of an ODI and it was up to the umpire to decide whether to change the ball. The bowling side is subjected to fielding restrictions during an ODI, in order to prevent teams from setting wholly defensive fields. Fielding restrictions dictate the maximum number of fieldsmen allowed to be outside the 30-yard circle. Under current ODI rules, there are three levels of fielding restrictions. Where a match is shortened by rain, the duration of the power plays is adjusted to equal 30% of the team's overs wherever possible. Fielding restrictions were first introduced in the Australian 1980-81 season. By 1992, only two fieldsmen were allowed outside the circle in the first 15 overs, then five fieldsmen allowed outside the circle for the remaining overs. This was shortened to 10 overs in 2005, and two five-over power plays were introduced with the bowling team having discretion over the timing for both. In 2008, the batting team was given discretion for the timing of one of the two power plays. In 2011, the teams were restricted to completing the discretionary power plays between the 16th and 40th overs. Previously, the power plays could take place at any time between the 11th and 50th overs. Finally, in 2012, the bowling power play was abandoned, and the number of fielders allowed outside the 30-yard circle during non-power play overs was reduced from 5 to 4. The trial regulations also introduced a substitution rule that allowed the introduction of a replacement player at any stage in the match and until he was called up to play he assumed the role of 12th man. Teams nominated their replacement player, called a super sub, before the toss. The super sub could bat, bowl, field or keep wicket once a player was replaced, the replaced player took over the role of twelfth man. Over the six months it was in operation, it became very clear that the super sub was of far more benefit to the side that won the toss, unbalancing the game. Several international captains reached gentlemen's agreements to discontinue this rule late in 2005. They continued to name super subs, as required, but they did not field them by simply using them as a normal twelfth man. On February 15, 2006, the ICC announced their intention to discontinue the super sub rule on March 21, 2006. The International Cricket Council determines which teams have ODI status. The 12 test playing nations have permanent ODI status. The nations are listed below with the date of each nation's ODI debut after gaining full ODI status shown in brackets. NB, the above list shows teams' ODI debut after gaining full ODI status. Both Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe made their ODI debuts at the 1975 and 1983 World Cups, respectively, but neither had full ODI status until the dates shown above, therefore their debuts came at later dates. Since 2005, the ICC has granted temporary ODI and T20I status to six other teams. In 2018 this changed to four teams after the promotion of Afghanistan and Ireland to test status and the ICC's decision to limit ODI status to 16 teams.
Teams earn this temporary status for a period of four years based on their performance in the ICC World Cup qualifier, which is the final event of the ICC World Cricket League. The following four teams currently have this status. So far, eight nations have held this temporary ODI status as a result of World Cricket League performances before being promoted to test status or relegated after underperforming at the World Cup qualifier. The ICC occasionally granted associate members permanent ODI status without granting them full membership and test status. This was originally introduced to allow the best associate members to gain regular experience in internationals before making the step up to full membership. First Bangladesh and then Kenya received this status. Bangladesh have since made the step up to test status and full membership, but as a result of poor performances, Kenya's ODI status was reduced to temporary meaning that it had to perform well at World Cup qualifiers to keep ODI status. Kenya lost ODI status after finishing in fifth place at the 2014 Cricket World Cup qualifier event. The ICC can also grant special ODI status to all matches within certain high-profile tournaments with the result being that the following countries have also participated in full ODIS with some later gaining temporary or permanent ODI status also fitting into this category. Finally, since 2005, three composite teams have played matches with full ODI status. These matches were Most ODI cricket takes place in a stand-alone series between two nations, often immediately before or after a test series. Triangular or quadrangular series are also common. There are two major ODI tournaments which feature most or all permanent ODI teams, and often also associate members. The other major multi-country ODI tournament is the Asia Cup, organized by the Asian Cricket Council since 1983. It has mainly featured Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and India. However, it has also featured Hong Kong, UAE, and Afghanistan. An ODI is contested by two teams of 11 players each, the captain of the side winning the toss chooses to either bat or bowl first, the team batting first sets the target score in a single innings. The innings lasts until the batting side is all out or all of the first side's allotted overs are completed, each bowler is restricted to bowling a maximum of 10 overs. Therefore, each team must comprise at least 5 competent bowlers, the team batting second tries to score more than the target score in order to win the match. Similarly, the side bowling second tries to bowl out the second team or make them exhaust their overs before they reach the target score in order to win, if the number of runs scored by both teams is equal when the second team loses all of its wickets or exhausts all its overs, then the game is declared a tie. In the first 10 overs of an innings, the fielding team may have at most two fielders outside the 30-yard circle. Between 11 and 40 overs four fielders will be allowed to field outside the 30-yard circle, in final 10 overs five fielders will be allowed to field outside the 30-yard circle. Scotland, United Arab Emirates, Netherlands, Nepal Kenya, Canada, Bermuda, Ireland, Netherlands, Afghanistan, Hong Kong Papua New Guinea East Africa, Sri Lanka, Canada, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, United Arab Emirates, Kenya, Netherlands, Scotland, Namibia, Hong Kong, United States The World Cricket Tsunami Appeal a once-off match between the Asian Cricket Council 11 vs ICC World 11 in the 2004-05 season, the Afro-Asia Cup, 
H230DI series played in 2005 and 2007 Afro-Asia Cup between the Asian Cricket Council 11 and the African XI, the ICC Super Series, a 3ODI series played between the ICC World 11 and the then top-ranked Australian cricket team in the 2005-06 season. Cricket World Cup Played every four years since 1975, ICC Champions Trophy, played every two years or four years since 1998.